The following film illustrates the main stages for the assembly of a steel L'Aquila lift shaft structure. The example shown is an outdoor installation on an existing building for a four-stop platform lift with access on opposite sides and drive system at the side. Before installation can begin, the pit or base must be constructed and the building works necessary to create the access points must be completed. Before starting installation, check the contents of the kit against the packing list. The manual and design drawings in the kit provide useful reference during installation. The first step is to install the four uprights in the pit, which will provide the base plate for fixing to the foundation plinth. The uprights supplied for installation at any given height are completely interchangeable with each other. In the project shown here, we have two front uprights with right-angled edges to give an effective contact surface at the front, and two rear uprights with rounded edges, a design choice. Now it is time to build the first ring at the bottom of the pit. Place the first cross beam level with the height of the first hole in the upright and fasten them together with the M12 bolt provided. For extremely quick secure installation, all cross beams are secured to the uprights with threaded inserts fitted in hex holes. The top and threshold cross beams have special 13 by 60 mm slots that allow the door frame height to be adjusted with a tolerance of plus or minus 25 mm, 25 mm up or down. Follow exactly the same procedure to fit all the cross beams until the structure emerges from the pit. Before the next ring is installed, the paneling holder profile should be fitted as a guide for the height at which the upper cross beam should be installed. Fit the aluminium enclosure paneling holder profiles flush against the lip in the upright. Secure them with the tapered head, self-threading screws provided. Use the holes provided in the projecting strip on the upright. The operation described for the ring in the bottom of the pit is then repeated for all the following rings in the first few segments. Before continuing with the installation, refer to the technical drawing to check the length of the upright segments to be used. To connect the following uprights, use the special sleeve kit which should be pre-assembled and secure the ends with the 8 M12 bolts supplied. Then continue assembling the structure until completed. Before the structure is made perpendicular and anchored permanently, the bracing crossbars should be fitted at the top. Assemble the four kits and fix them to the uprights. Cut the threaded bars to the correct size, leaving the necessary extra length. Position the bars and use the nuts provided to adjust the structure's components so that they are perpendicular. Now it is time to set the structure vertical and set it in its final position by fitting four expansion plugs into the plates at the bottom of the pit. Continue to fit the structure by fitting the two anchor plugs used to secure it to the landing onto the threshold and top cross beams. These may be either expansion or chemical plugs depending on the substrate. The shaft is now vertical, square, and definitively secured to its base and the building. The roof structure is extremely simple and flexible. Fit the framework support profiles. Fix them to the top plates of the uprights using the metal fasteners and threaded inserts. Then fit the framework and complete by mounting the roof paneling. This is secured using the self-threading screws with seals. Before installing the elevator, the drive system side enclosure panels should be mounted to avoid any possible problems of interference with travelways and mechanical components. This is not compulsory, however, and different strategies may be preferred on a case-by-case -case basis. One distinctive feature of all Donzelli shafts is that all the enclosure panels and accessories are installed inside the shaft itself a particularly important factor when shafts are positioned indoors next to staircases.
The following sequence is used to install a 12 tenths fin steel plate ventilation panel flush with the outside of the shaft at the top. Cut the EPDM seal at 45 degree angles at the ends. Peel the backing off the adhesive and apply it, without stretching it, snugly against the vertical panel holder strip and on the cross beam lips. Fit the panel and secure it temporarily with the snap-on glass holder profile. Follow exactly the same procedure to fit the other enclosure panels in the other openings on the drive system side. Complete installation of the enclosure paneling on the drive side by fitting glass holder strips on the cross beams with the self-threading screws provided. The lift drive system and doors can now be installed. Once the doors have been fitted, all the other shaft enclosure panels can be installed. Following is an example of the installation of an 8mm aluminium honeycomb top panel flush with the inside edge of the shaft. All Donzelli lift shaft structures are single clad. This means that double cladding is not required. Cut the seal to the correct length. Peel the backing off the adhesive and apply it flush against the paneling and the crossbeam lips. Fit the panel and secure it to the crossbeams provisionally with the glass holder profiles. Now fit all the other enclosure paneling sections. If required for the specific installation, a variety of structural reinforcement options are available, including struts, bracing beams, and ties. The installation shown here is fitted with seven pairs of stiffener crossbars on the side opposite the buildings to secure the free rear uprights. Fit the eye bolts into the threaded inserts provided. Cut the bars to the required size length and tension them. Secure them to the eye bolts using the kit provided. All Donzelli lift shaft structures are available with a wide range of accessories, such as walkways, parapets, and side enclosure panels, including clear paneling. As an example, here we illustrate the procedure for installing a clear porch roof to protect the ground floor access point. This accessory is simply secured to the uprights using suitable metal fasteners. At this point, complete assembly of the door side enclosure panels by fixing the landing door side panels, here on three sides, to the structure uprights and cross beams using the screws supplied in the kit. It is important to bear in mind that these panels are not structural elements that support the doors. The doors must be connected to the cross beam structure. Complete fixing the enclosure panels by fitting the guards on the uprights. All L'Aquila structures have guards throughout the shaft. The guards can also serve as raceways for electrical wiring. Frame installation is now complete and assembly of the lift can be completed. The L'Aquila model is available in various finishes which can be combined with different types of glass. Here are a few examples. Cold gray mica finish with gray smoked glass. The entire RAL range is available. Here is a solution with the shaft structure in RAL 2001 and bronze colored glass. And a RAL 5010 structure with clear glass. And the new L'Aquila structure in brush stainless steel seen here with stop sole reflective glass. A conservative estimate for the assembly times of the shaft shown here is two and a half days for assembling the structure, setting it vertical and fixing it, plus an additional two days to fit the enclosure panels and door side panels. The basic assembly team requires two people. 